3.4.1 here for WePC.com. I'm uh, going to be doing a review of the um, uh, Asus uh, EPC uh, EP121 um, slate uh, tablet computer. And uh, here's a here is a little focus. Here's its uh, you know it in all its glory. We uh, turn the light on. So. What you can see here, you know, it's got the nice little tablet. I'm, I'm using the case that came with it to kind of doubles as a stand. Um, and then you have a keyboard here, a wireless keyboard, which is really, really nice. Notice, no mouse, um, because you have two things at your disposal. You have this nice uh, Wacom pen that the uh, it has a uh, digitizer uh, built in to the um, to the display also it has a uh, you know multi touch functionality you can see uh, it can handle up to 10 points of contact um, now uh, it is running uh, windows as you notice you can see it's running a full blown version of windows it's running a uh, windows 7 home premium it has uh, um, basically a um, you know, pretty good, uh, pretty good size drive for a tablet. It's a 32 gigabyte solid straight drive. It's running a uh, i core uh, or Intel Core i5 uh, 470. It's a dual core processor at uh, 1.3 gigahertz. It's got uh, high def graphics, and it comes with a this particular model. Uh, if you get the 32 gigabyte one, you also get uh, two gigabytes of RAM. Um, the camera uh, is 1600 by 1200 pixels, so it's a high def camera. And uh, so, you know, it has an LED flash, and um, it has, uh, two, it's got two pit megapixels of re resolution. Um, it does have a GPS. It's got a wireless uh, um, 802.11 uh, uh, B, G, and N. Um, so it's a pretty good form factor. Um, what I'll do, um, just in a moment, I'll take it out of the uh, case so you guys can kind of see it, and I can show you some some of the other details of it, but I guess uh, some of the things you guys are asking about, um, where is it, you know, about the pressure, the different levels of pressure, and I just thought I would uh, show that to you um, on here, which it does, it does have, let's pick something here, um, like the paintbrush here, let's pick a color, um, and as you can see, I can draw lightly or I can draw harder um, which will leave the colors a little bit more doesn't show very paintbrush here uh, let's see let's do a pencil no here some chalk and let's widen the to 100 percent so you guys can kind of get the idea as you can see um, I'm drawing here and then if I press harder the line gets more defined and then, uh, and also, this has the eraser um, functionality. And somebody asked, did ask, um, what piece of software this is. And this is actually Arch, Art Rage Studio. Um, is a, what this piece of software is called. So it does have, you know, very le different levels of pressure. Um, now, here's a tip for all you guys. As you can see. What happens in this part of the screen when I'm drawing uh, my line here? Just a tip: if you do get a case for this thing, do not um, get a case that has magnets in the frame for the case. I'm gonna put the camera down so I can take it out. Um, and the reason being, it actually interferes with the uh, Wacom pen, and um, so it, ca it causes issues uh, with it. But um, as you can see, both the multi-touch, getting a little flicker from the uh, camera, but the multi-touch and the um, and the Wacom can bo both work really well. I thought uh, I was pretty amazed by that. Um, of course, the software has got to know what to do with it. Um, yeah, so you may not get the multi. Uh, pressure uh, or multiple points when you try to uh, draw with them on here let's uh, don't save this 
but um, so it's a it's a pretty I I've been pretty impressed with it and the things that I've been doing with it mainly um, is lots of lots of Hulu lots of lots of Netflix and uh, I'm sure um, Peter one of the moderators of the uh, WePC.com yes I have taken it into the loo uh, to uh, watch my shows so uh, it's pretty good the only thing I was disappointed I found out um, Google Earth is not um, is not uh, multi-touch yet so Google Earth isn't um, all that um, hot when it comes to multi-touch stuff, at least from the free versions. I know they've got some commercial stuff they've lent out to different organizations um, in that regard that have it. Um, as you can see, I'm running Chrome here. And one thing you'll notice if I got that little extension there, and that's called Chrome... What is it called? Chrome Touch. It's called Chrome Touch. You can see, and Chrome Touch will actually make it Chrome work well with multi-touch um, displays. Because if you, that way you can do this with it. You can make it bigger, smaller, um, with inside Google Touch or um, Google uh, Google Chrome. If you don't have the extension, you won't be able to do the single finger, single. Uh, you won't be able to do the scrolling like I'm doing here um, because the Google uh, Chrome nat natively does not have um, have that built in um, let me just uh, play some YouTube video here uh, well, and, uh, well. And one thing that I, I, I have noticed that um, I am going to bring up is the volume on it uh, could be better. Um, I was watching, I was watching um, uh, a movie on uh, Netflix with my wife in bed, and it uh, the volume wasn't loud enough. We actually had to uh, plug it in some external speakers. It may have been a uh, the particular rip they had done of the movie, but I'm going to go ahead and show you uh, the size of this thing, which um, you know has there's an infrared port there. Um, obviously, the identification and labels, and then over here you'll notice that it's got. Is that was that infrared? I lie. That was not infrared. That is actually a speaker, and that is another speaker. And you'll see that there's two USB ports here, a reset of some sort, um, headphone jack. Now this uses the uh, a tip ring ring sleeve, so you um, like uh, the Mac uh, Macintosh headsets uh, for like iPhone and stuff will work on this. Um, then you have an HDMI out, and then you have volume control. And then you have uh, yeah, volume control, HDMI out, um, and then you have um, a power. Now, one thing I, is a bit tricky with the uh, USB ports. I found they're a bit; they can be a bit tricky to get open the first couple of times. So. They'll get easier to open as you do it more. Just be careful. Um, I've seen connections like this where they can snap off, but they, they get easier just the first couple of times. It can be a bit rough. It also um, has an SD card slot, so you can put expanded memory and expanded storage. Um, oops, that jumped out at me. Um, extended uh, storage in your device. You have to forgive me. This is hard to do to to uh, hold the camera and show you the device. I actually kind of need a tripod. Maybe maybe that be my next investment. Now here on the top, you've got um, your power button, the keyboard button. 
to bring a keyboard board away and a rotation lock. Um, I've got it locked so it stays in uh, portrait mode. So, um, or I'm sorry, landscape mode at the moment. It's just when I'm watching movies and I'm walking around. Sometimes the uh, sometimes the um, it'll change on me. Um, but uh, it's you know it's pretty. Um, I I I've, I found it very useful. I do like the like the fact that I don't have to have a mouse on my computer at least um, as long as the touch interface uh, works really really well. Um, it's uh, getting some glare from my lamp there. Um, but uh, you know, all in all, it's a it's a very very uh, dynamic. A unit, and I've uh, really enjoyed uh, having it here for these uh, week and a half. And uh, I'm I'm very sad that um, I'm gonna have have to give it back because um, this this thing, um, other thing it does really well is Skype. Um, I'm not gonna type in my Skype password, but it uh, it does Skype really well, and a lot of really good. Uh, features there, the quality of it's really, really good. Um, also, uh, let's see if I can get this to work. Is uh, I've been having some router issues, so it may not work. But um, Direct to uh, PC from Direct TV works on this really, really well. Um, it will allows me to watch. Yeah, it's not coming up. Um, work allows. Um, Sorry, I, I promise you that I have gotten this to work. Um, um, allows you to watch things right from your DVR um, on a Windows machine, and uh, I'm telling you, it's been very, uh, it's been very nice to have. Um, just make sure when you're doing it, um, you do do it over a G or N connection. B can be a bit problematic, depending on how far you are from your access point. Um, and can slow down uh, playback uh, from the DVR, but other than that, it uh, works really well. And maybe a maybe a little faster processor, um, and the new next version would uh, um, might be useful. Oh, it is working. Hang on. No. Yeah. So it didn't uh, didn't find the receiver. Um, there's I'm been having some issues with the uh, access point, so. But anyways, you should check that out if you get a chance. Even just on a regular, uh, regular PC, they don't. Unfortunately, they don't make it for Mac uh, yet. But uh, I'm sure that's coming along soon. Um, but uh, you know, I, I I can I can see where this would be really good for uh, you graphic designers out there. Um, unfortunately, I don't believe it doesn't support the Wacom pens with the buttons. I'm pretty sure about that. Um, unless somebody can prove me wrong. Um, it doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't support that. And that uh, stuff I found through forums, and um, unfortunately, I sent an email directly off to ASUS and haven't got a reply back. But that's okay. I'm, I'm pretty sure that the uh, pens with the buttons will not don't work on this uh, particular uh, digitizer. So um, don't forget um, if you have any specific questions about the EP121 uh, slate. Um, there's a, my previous video. Put a comment or question in there, and I will answer it directly with another video. Um, and I will be putting those out shortly. I had to get this review out of the way, um, and there's some, been some other issues. That's why it's a little bit delayed. But um, other than that, uh, I would say majorly good thumb, you know, lots of thumbs up. Um, I it's really meant for content creation and consumption. And what I mean by that, you know, a lot of you know watching, you know, Hulu, uh, watching um, uh, YouTube. Uh, Netflix uh, doing um, video conferencing like Skype, and um, you know it's 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 a very good device. Um, I, I you know the, the keyboard. It's actually I kind of like the bend. It's a very ergonomic ish, and uh, um, you know it's uh, very comfortable to type on. I found so um, that's it in the flesh. Um, and uh, I'll be answering. I will be answering your guys' questions. Oh, one other feature I got to show is the button here, so you can. Um, if I can. There's a. 
application switching button so you can just kind of switch through your applications uh, really easy right here so um, yeah and if you guys can think of any more questions go ahead and respond to this video as well bring your questions comments and things that I um, didn't think of uh, to bring up uh, ask them there but um, uh, there's a lot of things hard to cover but um, just from a productivity standpoint it's very good for taking notes um, yeah see there's a keyboard kind of click it it pops up you can click it it goes away, it goes away. that's a virtual keyboard or if you touch it um, you'll find that this is that that instance is very similar to the um, HP touch ones at least the, uh, the the keyboard also the cool thing is the um, um, writing on um, which uh, you can write and it will oops, it can recognize so I can just write you know you know we yeah, it's kind of hard to try to wa watch what I'm writing through the camera. Yeah, so, anyways. But, yeah, it's got the like hand handwriting recognition stuff uh, right there. Um, so, yeah, it's a it's a really good... I, w I think it's worth, worth the money to have. Um, my kids have been playing with the art... Uh, the um, Art Rage studio and just drawing like crazy. I would have loved to have gotten video of that, but um, yeah. Also, one thing you do be, be aware of with it, it is a fingerprint magnet, but you you expect that uh, to uh, to be the case with any sort of tablet computer, and um, uh, that's why they provide a nice cloth so you can wipe it down from time to time. So again, thank you for your time, and um, hope you enjoyed this review. If you have any questions or comments, don't forget, uh, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, either uh, I, th I think uh, just comment on this video, or um, you can catch me at outcast at askoutcast.com. Uh, talk to you later.